and the Encore, your source for more. We're behind the scenes now at the fashion show. Joining me is the fabulous Mr. Patrick and Nicole Renee. What are your favorite parts about putting this on every single year? Well, for me, I think it is uh, being able to announce the designers and being able to make them models actually walk that walk and for them to be able to show what the designers have creatively put together. Yes, the best part about it is seeing the excitement, you know, seeing the different designers' expressions and seeing the models' expressions, seeing what everybody's bringing to the stage. How awesome is it that young women can participate in something like this with people who are renowned around the country and the world? I think it's awesome. I think that it gives young women a chance to be exposed to other designers, you know, to be exposed to other women designers, women empowering women. We're here at the Celebrity Basketball Game. The players are warming up. Joining me now is actor Christian Keys. What do you have going on right now? I know you mentioned Saints and Sinners. What else? Um, well, there's speculation as to whether or not Levi will be going back to Saints and Sinners. I can't contractually say if he will or not. But um, that and then um, The Boys on Amazon Prime is a great new show. I play the big brother to Jesse T. Usher, who just had Shaft come out. Hey, and to all of the expiring um, actors or actresses out there, do you have any advice? Um, yeah, for starters, not being funny, don't say that you're aspiring. Mm -hmm. You're an actor. You're a painter. You're a singer. You're not aspiring to do anything. Be it, you know, put in the work. We got to give God something to bless. Okay, I'm sure you guys recognize who is with me now, Trevor Jackson. He's from Indianapolis and he's back to participate in the game tonight. Are you excited? I'm always excited, man. I love coming back home, one, two, uh, meeting all the fans, getting to play uh, one of my favorite games ever, basketball. Your upcoming projects, I know you just um, did Superfly. Mm -hmm. And in music, you do that as well. Yeah, Tell me what's going it. on. I just dropped an album called Rough Jazz Part 2. I got Little Yachty on the album, I got Diggy Simmons on the album. How long have you guys been practicing for this? I know you pretty much practice all the time, but practicing for this celebrity game. <laughs> well, I guess since I own a basketball gym and we train kids for a living there, I guess I should be able to do something out here, but uh, definitely not training for this, you know, just out here winging it. Uh, talk about your philanth uh, philanthropy. You give back to the community, you have a gym for kids. Tell me about that. Oh yeah, I own a gym called Shoot360, it's on 80th and Georgetown. Um, it's where, you know, all age kids, grown ups come to work out and, and work on their skill development. Okay, the Indiana Black Expo does so much for the community. This basketball game, the fashion show that's happening right now as well, the health fair, um, the business conference. If you could pick one thing that's your favorite, and I know that's hard, but one thing that you think means the most to this community, what would it be? Well, I just think it's the overall education and just making sure that everybody knows that they are loved and they have the support of people. That's always what's been special to me. Now, the entertainment factor besides the basketball is when you can get Teddy Riley up in here for a little guy, I'm all about that, there's no doubt. But it's just the support of the community that you see absolutely with open arms around here every time in July every year is pretty special.